Hmm, not really flowing. Welcome back to Ringworm yet again here in uh, Canadian Michigan. <laughs> Just heading down to work on my uh, bow legged gazebo a little bit more. Had some folks out here, got busy for a couple weeks, and uh, just got a huge downpour. I was going to work all day on this thing. It's supposed to be not very warm, maybe high of 70 at most. Uh, it rained all morning, and so I thought I'd come down and see if there was any water at all under this bridge and not a drop. If you caught the last uh, few videos, been working on this gazebo, as for all of you that have ever camped in your life and know that feeling when you wake up in the morning and the sun's just hitting your tent, and you feel like you're on fire, it's so hot in there, you start sweating. That's what it's like all the time out here in the summer, living in a tent. I get so many hours of the day I can't even be in the tent, which gives me no place to go outside of the bugs, to get away from the bugs. So let's get back to it, see if we can get a roof on this thing. So since I didn't bother to make this thing square, because that's the platform's just built on tree stumps, all the rafters are not going to be the same size. So I can't just do the calculation, the angle, you know, the length and angle, and then cut them all and put them on. See if we can lay something out on the floor and just like, I don't know, roughly figure this out. Since we don't have any straight edges at all anywhere, just make one straight line and then measure everything off of that, I guess. Maybe find the middle here. The whole thing's sort of a parallelogram, except that uh, two sides are just wavy. <laughs> so I guess it's not even... What's the word for that? Every, every, All four sides are different lengths. All four angles are different, and two sides are not straight. The edges kind of meander because they're a live edge on the side of this. 92 and 3 quarters is half the length. That's the center. I think since this log I cut up for the uh, rafters was a little longer than I needed, I might make a higher pitch roof. I think I was going to do 412. I might as well go 512. It's not going to take me any more here. I've been known to make a mistake from time to time. I mean, I hide it pretty well, but I, uh, I'm not perfect, believe it or not. I'm trying to decide if I should cut a couple sets of those, try to get them up there, make sure they fit, or lay them all out, cut them all, put them up there, which would be the smallest chance of making a huge mistake that makes me have to start over and like cut new trees. Let's see what we got under here. From a previous video. Some nice boards. I noticed several of them are too short so not that I made that mistake or anything but I must have been uh, planning to make this a little more difficult so I'd have something to really work on you know. Just cut some of the boards the wrong length and then try to fix it later. Let's take over what we got. Got an interesting variety of uh, finishes on the edges here. Uh, this is all in an earlier video. Uh, milling this out of a big pine tree that was back here. I guess there's some of it left over there. Uh, the geez, that was several videos ago with the sky deck. Uh, I cut that tree down for Joyce for the sky deck and then used another section of it to cut this up. And looks like I've only got like eight or nine boards. I think I need 16, so hmm. I think I might just go ahead and do these two for the one side, do the other two for the other side so I could set the uh, this ridge up there and just see how it how it works before I go to the trouble to cut more trees, to mill these up, put them all up, and then find out something's not quite right. Because, uh, you know, you guys know me well enough by now. I'm not planning jack. I'm just throwing this stuff up as it goes and think like, well... What's next? Okay, this part needs to be next. How would you do that? Well, you could do this or you could do that and you know, I just lay it out and chop it up and see if it works. It's amazing how often it does work. Maybe it doesn't actually like in anybody else's world this would be a lot of this stuff would be a big fail, but there's nobody there to say, "Hey, that didn't work out for you." So you do it, you put it up, and you go like, "Yeah, this is exactly exactly what I need." You know, nobody's coming by to pick on you to point stuff out, so I don't know, let's see if this one works. 
So this is just going to tip straight up here and go right here on the end. So like, yeah, I don't know what the name of this board would be going up here. The support, it's going to support that whole big fat ridge board, which is this one I cut a while ago. That's like a full two inches by 16 or something like that. It's a monster board. So I'm just looking around here for something to use for this support here and I kind of like it to be three inches wide because this is three inches just so it'd sit on there real nice like. I'm going to find a log here and either rip it freehand or maybe take it up and uh, mill the chunk out of it. So I'm going to need one for either end. Looks like I'd need about a five and a half foot log. This guy's pretty beastly. I didn't use this. Uh, I'm going to chop this into, up into something, but it's got a lot of bugs in it. I think most of it's just under the bark, so I might uh, take it up there, debark it if the holes don't go too deep in there. Maybe we'll do that one. Yeah, it's plenty long. There's almost, there's almost nothing about this that I don't like, except working in two different places and having my tools spread out. That makes me a little bit crazy. It's missing a level or a screwdriver or something just to mill this. I just had the wrong bit for the, for the drill. Got to go all the way back and get it, which is not that big a deal, but when you do it, you know, 12 to 20 times a day, it can make you a little bit nutty. Still, beats a cubicle any day. Well, not any day. I'm sure there's some great days in a cubicle, like, I don't know, birthdays or any kind of cupcake days. Other than that, I'd rather be out here. You can keep the cubicle. No bug holes at all. Uh, some tiny ones. Huh, cool. I guess I'm just gonna take the three incher right out of there and that'll look kind of cool. If you're looking at it this way, you'll see the raw edge on it. And then whatever's left over, so it'll probably go to like here. And then I'll maybe just take the last board or two of just a one inch, which I'll save for the uh, roof. Work pretty well. Wouldn't normally uh, bother milling up a log that small, especially that short, but you know, that's a few 
few one inch pieces and the chunk that I needed so better than make it into firewood. It's kind of a lot of work for one six foot board. But it's worth it. I think. We'll get some extra length here. I wonder, it'd be kind of cool if maybe this thing sat in the end of this like a fork. Can't really, I'm not gonna bother trying to figure out if that would actually work. I'll just cut it where it needs to be. Put the fork in it. If it fits and everything works out, I'll leave it. If not, then I'll just chop it off flush like I was going to anyway. Think that'll work? Maybe not. We'll see.
I think it'll fall into there when I move the other end. Baby. Kind of feeling like I uh, probably should put some braces on there. I might just see what kind of scraps I got and do like some corners there or something. Maybe just on one side. Actually, I probably just put some scrap on there and then keep my eye out for something like really cool to use as a as a brace, like a real funky piece of wood or I don't know something. But we'll make something temporary. Maybe set it like that or something. Three feet. I guess this guy might do. It's got some worm eats. I'll just cut off whatever was usable. I think that's just stained from sitting in the pile. Maybe I can plane that off and then I'll just cut it here to get rid of that knot. And whatever length I can get that and get out of it uh, that, with that cut too, I guess that'll be it.
Nice. That's how you check it. You gotta give it two punches just to make sure. Never mind. You know, you guys know all about that. Baby, that's nice. Yeah, I'm gonna put these together with screws because as usual, I'm sure I'm gonna screw something else up and have to tear this apart a couple times. So make it easy on myself. Maybe just put a couple in each end and then put some nails in later or something. I don't know. I don't know. I just, gosh, I just don't know. Everything's too unsquare and uh, not the same one to the next so i'm just gonna use this first one pattern it to the next one change it a little bit and then kind of keep doing that use the last one to make the next rafter and and just go from there trying to lay it out and do it mathematically is not going to work just because everything is a little bit too wonky imagine that i'm not complaining i don't mind it that way at all just got to find the right technique to make it work well enough Got the wrong chain on here, I just realized a few cuts ago. It's a full chisel chain, which is really hard to do this kind of stuff with. It just grabs, I mean, it cuts fast, but I don't really want it to cut that fast. Yeah, look at that, just chopped it up. I have to go put a different chain on. They got uh, four of them up there with almost no uh, jiggering and and just uh, put it up there see what doesn't fit make a couple marks and you know it's kind of what you get when you do everything with a chainsaw nothing's gonna be I can see that like this this cut right here isn't 90 what you gonna do sometimes it doesn't matter you know it's close enough for some of this stuff and sometimes I'll go through and just mark it with a little pencil and come back and grind it out with the chainsaw a little bit but this was just just enough off it didn't quite fit right also i haven't checked in a while if you guys are actually still up there everything good you guys good? You, you need anything? Want some popcorn or anything like that? Oh, so close. Needs a little more trimming. 
Ooh, I already dropped this once. <laughs> Unfortunately, didn't have the camera on. Wow, that is a slippery one. Will it stay there? I'll put it here so if it uh, does slip off of there, it won't kick back and hit my ladder. Ooh. Oh, oh, there it goes. Yep. See? It's a good thing I moved it over. <laughs> Oh lord. Yeah, I don't know if you guys saw the video where I milled these up out of that giant. I think this was oh this is actually out of the log that was right here. We we're sitting on the ground milling this. Not not by my tent, but out here in the woods. I don't know if you can see this. I just took the end of the bar and just gouged out the any of the rotten spots. So if there's like worm holes or anything like that, bug holes, I cut off all the black. You can see there was a little bit of black here. Cut the majority of it off, and then there were a couple bad spots that I just like gouged it out. And you know, I could take this whole this whole thing and cut it back to like here, and make this instead of a uh, two inches by what is that? Maybe like six or seven. Make it like by five. But this stuff's not going to hurt anything, and I don't care if it looks like that. It looks uh, a little. I mean, come on, look at this thing. Is this rustic or what? Yeah, a couple uh, chainsaw gouges, not going to make any difference. You're all schmutzed up. Oh, nice. Bar oil. Yeah, whatever. You'll be fine. Put your belly aching. So not easy to hold up there. That's ugly, but nobody will ever see it. And nobody will ever see it. Except for you and you guys won't tell anybody. Well, that's all I got lumber for. It's all the stuff I've 
pre-milled, so I guess uh, guess I got to go back to camp and bust out the chainsaw mill and walk around and find. Uh, we got four there. One, two, three, four, one, two. Three. I'll have to make three more. So I think I have a couple like half logs laying around that. That's why if I mill up some lumber for a certain project, something I need, I always leave the other whatever I haven't used up. I don't just like mill the rest of it. I mean, it wouldn't be the worst thing to have some extra lumber laying around, plus it would dry a little bit, but I just never know what I'm going to need it for. You know, some projects like this so far, everything's been two, two is the thinnest, two inches, three inches, four inches. And if I'd have milled the rest of it up, probably the most common I use is like a one inch board. If I'd have milled it all up, then I'd have to be cutting down trees right now to just to finish this little bit. So let's go have a look around, grab the chainsaw mill, make some more lumber. Well, you guys all know by now my dislike of uh, these aspens I have out here, like this giant one here. It's uh, in every video when you think there's a bunch of static or wind noise or something. That's uh, the leaves on those, they're actually called trembling or quaking aspens. And this is the area you saw in a different video. I took down like, I don't know, five or ten of those big ones and took out of here. And these are the ones that are left here and mostly dead anyway i have so many of these uh logs laying around and they're hardly good for anything because they they split so badly i'm just wondering if i could get a two or three inch wide beam out of one of those instead of these like one buys that just split 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 all the time i'm wondering if a big fat beam would actually make it i know this is like the fifth video i've done where i said Let's see how those aspens work out. We could use it for that, and they never do. I'm going to try it anyway, because it means not having to take down any extra trees. There's like a whole pile of down trees over here. I didn't cut down, but the reason all these come, these have come down and I've taken them down is because they're past their normal uh, life limit, you know, I think which is generally like 60 or 80 years for these trees. And these are what's left here. These giant ones are pushing 100, and all the insides are rotten out, so... Yeah, here we'll have a look at these. Like this guy here, I cut this section out because it was over the path, but I mean, that's still healthy wood there. You know, if you go down to the, like down there, I can see when it broke and fell down on its own, that's all rotten out down there. But I'm wondering, uh, might see if I could get a, I think I need nine and a half foot section. Every single time I say it's not worth the time, but look at all of them. I got this one, another, two more right there, and they're big. And that's things, the top one, I don't know how long, that's actually that came down since I've been here, so in the last year, but it's suspended up there. So uh, it's not rotten or anything. Even this, I bet, has some good chunks. I don't know, I think I might try it. I so much prefer it to going and cutting down a good healthy cedar. Stupid, I'm so stupid. Nope, I came to my senses. Not gonna do it. Look at these. These are some boards I cut, uh, I don't know, a month ago or so. They are so incredibly warped. And it's really not worth it. These were, this was the best of the last batch. The last time you guys saw a video of me uh, chainsaw milling up the Aspen, I took the best log there was and uh, milled it up and stacked it just to let it sit here and see what it looked like after it dried and it's not good so I'm gonna go find something else to mill up it's got to be a two by six by nine and a half so I can get one out of this come back and do that in a little bit these are the logs I was going to use for the frame for the gazebo and just ended up mowing the uh, big beams instead so I guess I might as well this one's cedar anyway might as well use the cedar up I think I can get a, a couple of beams out of that Big enough, man. I hope that's big enough.
Now it's going to be like to the quarter inch if, this, if these are actually big enough. Hmm. I just hate wasting them, you know. I've got a glog here that's a couple inches wider, but then that's bigger than I need. So I go for the smaller one. Guess that'll do. Oh, I need one more still. Oh yeah. Now that this board's light enough to pick up, I think I'll put it on the saw horses rather than sitting on the ground anymore. And I won't bother carrying it over by hand. Because that would be ridiculous. <laughs> wow, that is crazy looking. I didn't really expect it to be uh, quite as colorful down here. That is neat. They don't go up backwards. They just don't. Not with the size hammer I got. If I wanted to use it like that, I'd need a real big hammer. 
and some explosives. There we go, let's try it that way. Last one, and it's a beast. I saved the, uh, this is gonna be on that rafter. And I got this thing I cut off because it had a bunch of knots in it, but I don't know, might have to make something out of that. Maybe, if nothing else, maybe just a shelf. Looks kind of cool. End table. Oh, I did it again. You can't put them up backwards. It just doesn't work that well. Last one. Woof. Nice. Ooh, buddy. That is starting to look like a thing. Sure is. It's supposed to be super hot the next few days, which I'm not looking forward to, but at least it's not raining. So I guess that'll give me time to uh, probably stand at the uh, sawhorses and do some milling. Whenever it's in the shade, like in the morning, in the evening, I don't know what I'm going to do in the middle of the day. It's going to be way too hot to work, especially when there's no roof to work under. Soon enough, though, soon enough, this will be a reasonable place to live. I mean, not that living in a tent in the middle of nowhere by yourself is not a reasonable way to live. I think it's perfectly reasonable. If any of you guys came in in the middle of this build or wherever, uh, I'll go ahead and put in the description the building of the uh, platform and then the one or two previous videos to this and description for each video i'll do that put put all of them in there i don't know how many they're going to be hopefully not a whole lot more i gotta mill up all the one inch lumber to cover this whole thing which is a lot when you're just milling tiny boards but it's a good way to get rid of all these little scrap logs so as long as the as long as the chunk of logs long enough to span two rafters uh, then, you know, I can mill it up. It's a, if it's a five foot log, I can mill it up. So I'll just go around here and collect all these little chunks, but it's a lot of, it's a lot of milling, chainsaw milling with a small chainsaw to, to cover this whole thing. It's actually fun. I like, I go around here and collect all the down logs I can, or all the logs I can find, put them all in a pile up there and then start really early in the morning. Unfortunately, can't put my earphones in but I kind of like just zone out and meditate all day long just stand there and mill and make a big pile of lumber then I haul it all down here after a day or two and put it on and realize that's only like a quarter enough to cover the whole thing because that's what happens every time so it's a lot of back and forth to do that anyway appreciate you guys watching uh see you on the next one